Okay, so we're back probably about two minutes actually. Uh, this was a really quick download. Um, considering we don't have much Wi Fi, it didn't take long at all. Download success. Do you uh, verify that no USB stick is inserted into the machine? To apply the software upgrade, you must restart your machine. Reboot now. Yes. We have no USB in there, but we do have um, the USB cable that we're tethering off. Bit of action there, bit of light on and off. To use USB for file transfer, um, allow you to transfer. Let's just cancel that for now. Let's just disconnect this as well. Let it reboot. See it blinking. And we're also going to connect back with Wi Fi, I think. Let's uh, go back to connecting with Wi Fi. We don't want to connect here. Let's connect here and connect. So we've disconnected the cable and we're going to connect back to the um, machine using Wi Fi. So in theory, here it's going to blow it back to here. We want to connect to where's Silka? There we are there. Connect. Connect. Looks like we're connected. Just give it a minute. Actually, you know what? Let's just try again. Connect. So we're blinking blue here, and in theory, we should be able to use um, the new download which has been downloaded. I could have done it wrong. I might, maybe I should have uh, left the cable plugged in. So we're just blinking on the machine, nothing's kind of happening here. Start search, there we are, yes. Connect. Okay, we're connected. Okay, so info. Let's go upgrades, let's see, okay, 349. Okay, so have we, aha, uh -huh. code maker. See that right there? Code maker. That's what it's all about. User card management. Aha! Now, this whole thing um, <clears throat> is all about just adding a card. So, making your own card. Can we do? Can we make an own card? Yes, we can. So, I'll just go back here for a second because you're going to look at your machine and say, oh, I don't have that. It was basically. Um, <laughs> Let me go back, please. There we go. No, don't want to do that. Okay, so I found this under... Um, uh, let's just go home again. Home. Uh, upgrades. On the side, user code. Or code, code, code maker. Add user... Sorry, add card management. Okay, so from here we have options. We can import... Um, from a USB and things like that, add, delete, but now this new button here is add. Standard dimple key. So this is really interesting that we can add dimple keys because I thought this program was just for single and, single and double sided keys, but dimple keys are interesting. Well, let's just try standard. Here so you can have a bit of a, a better look at it. Okay, card. So is that a card number we can edit? No, lock system. OK, 
Okay, let's um, let's do that one. Key bank dimensions. That's interesting. Okay, so the height. That's not too bad. Type of key. Single, double sided. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is Code Maker. <clears throat> Code Maker for the Silk of Futura. I've just installed it. What I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to do another video, and I'm actually going to make um, a key and a card, um, and I'm going to cut that key. I'm going to get a lock and I'm going to test it out. So this was just a quick uh, demonstration on Code Maker, how to install it, and I probably did it all the wrong ways, but at least you saw that I was able to install it within about five minutes, and it wasn't too bad. Now we have the option to actually cut keys. Uh, that are not in the database because if it's not in the database you're not able to send a code from Instacode down to the machine with its space and depth. You, if it doesn't have the card in the machine you're out of luck unless they do. you do an upgrade next time and it's been added. So this code maker allows you to say right I've got a special lock here nobody knows anything about it I want to cut it these are the size these are the depths and you can do your own custom cards. So if you've got some imported lock or anything, this is pretty important. If you've got something that's not added to the database, you can actually add it yourself. As where um, you, the other way around is you've got to wait for an update from your supplier, then download it on the next update before you can do it. Having this program allows me just to go right, pull out my micrometers, find it, mark it, measure it, and be able to start cutting. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to give this a full little test.